hello one and all welcome to the channel my name is sean and today it's time for a confession it's confession time and this is something i kind of want to do when i started the channel but didn't really think the audience was big enough i still don't have a massive audience but i think this will draw in more people because some of this stuff is pretty interesting so here we go uh, my confession for the day is i have never driven a sports car i know that might be insane i'm a guy that talks about super and there's another legend built with inside that viper and that's the acr it's a big name to live up to and we're going to take it to the next level track car in the viper when you think about the 2016 viper acr you really have to put it in a perspective of the history of the 20 <laughs> GT3 RS 4 liter version, the limited edition version of the GT3 RS, the GT3 RS 3.8 second generation. The most significant change is power and torque. You feel it even on the first few meters when you drive the car. The crankshaft, the conrods, the intake manifold, the air filter, the airbox, and the exhaust headers are the most significant hardware changes in comparison to the 3.8 liter unit. A GT3 engine never felt better, believe me, it's that brilliant. The result now is 500 horsepower and a specific power rating of 125 horsepower per liter, naturally aspirated and street legal. We're using lightweight carbon front hood and front fenders and uh, lightweight carpentry in the interior, perspex windows, not only on the rear window but now as well for the rear side windows and uh, we've reduced the weight of the car even further. Another modifications are to be found in the suspension, for example, where we have lightweight springs and aluminum struts, which help to lower the weight, as a matter of fact. We have additional ball joints on the lower level of the rear axle that make the rear axle react a little bit faster to driver inputs and uh, add precision to the car. On the aerodynamic design, we have modifications as well. So we improved the downforce in the front end. sports car happened to be um, a Ferrari F12, I wouldn't, you know, sneeze at the opportunity. I wouldn't have to because I'm 100% sure that I could handle that much power. I don't think I've ever had a car that had more than 300 horsepower. So if I get a seat in a F12, then I would be very happy with it. I would also, you know, drive a Corvette around. Uh, no six cylinder Camaros, Chargers, or Mustangs, eights and ups. You know, I don't know, they don't make those eights, but still, uh, definitely would drive a Cayman. And, you know, like I'm just saying, I would definitely drive those, no questions asked. And I know some people don't see uh, Miatas as sports cars, but they are. I would drive a Miata, drive a Miata. Though I cannot drive a stick, that is a story for another day. Just because I've been wanting to say that I've never driven a sports car for the longest time, and I don't want to say sports because you know some people don't ever get that opportunity. I've been those people, and I think I'm gonna finally get that off my bucket list. Hopefully, some things will change this year. And I'll get the opportunity, and we'll see, might go on a little test drive, might set something up, 
and then go on from there and of course bring you guys along as i said before tell me is there anything car related that you want to confess to that you haven't done or that you have done that changed your life let me know and if i think of any more that I can just talk about candidly with no script in my hand because you guys know I hate scripts. I don't like reading off a piece of paper sounding robotic. I like to tell it how it is. Let me know in the comments. I know I just went on a tangent right there. But with all that said, I want to bring the video to a close. So if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. I got a lot of stuff for this channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. With that said, I'll catch you later.